What's up guys? Welcome back to Bible Fun with the Duns. Today we're studying 1 Kings chapter 3. Let's jump right in. Okay, so um, basically in this chapter, um, it opens up and um, it, uh, the Lord appears to Solomon in a dream. And he tells Solomon that he can have whatever he wants. And uh, Solomon, rather than choosing like literally anything, he chooses wisdom because he wants to be um, a good king and serve the Lord correctly. And uh, this is also where Jeb's takeaway comes from. So Jeb, you want to share with us a little bit about this? Okay, instead of choosing like anything in the world, he just chose wisdom. And so God was like, okay, and since you chose wisdom instead of choosing like strength and a lot of money and power, I'll give you wisdom, strength, a lot of money, and power. <laughs> All right, so um, because Solomon chose wisdom, uh, the Lord was like so pleased with him that he also gave him all these in addition to that. So um, by making the wise choice and getting more wisdom, um, it also turned out better for him in the end um, than if he had just chosen any of that other stuff. Um, and then next after that, we... Um, we hear this story about two women who both have a baby. Um, one of them, their baby dies, and so uh, the one whose baby died um, tries to take away the other uh, person's baby because that one's alive. And then um, <laughs> they go to Solomon about it, and um, so Solomon, um, do we think Solomon, never mind, do we think Solomon uh, knew whose baby it was to begin with? Yeah, because he asked for all that wisdom. That's right. So Solomon, um, uh, using his wisdom that he got, um, he um, decided to try to solve this problem. So what does he do? So he says, let's split the baby in half. And one person is like, no, no, no. And the other is like, yeah, sure, because it's better. Um, having no baby and her having a baby and me not having one. Alright, so who gets the baby? Uh, the rightful owner of the, the baby. rightful owner of the baby. That's <laughs> right. Um, so, uh, this is the part where my takeaway comes from. In the very last verse, verse 28, it said, All Israel heard about the judgment that the king given, and they stood in awe of the king, because they saw that God's wisdom was in him uh, to carry out justice. So, um, so Solomon... At the beginning, we see him making this uh, wise choice to get more wisdom. Um, and at the end, we see um, it starting to work out for him, and we see him putting that wisdom to good use. And so we're going to continue to see that through uh, the rest of this book. And um, uh, Solomon continues to use his wisdom to glorify God and um, do great things. So we'll see you tomorrow in chapter 4. Bye. Bye. What do you mean? Oh.